Yo, what's up guys? The Insane Game Freak here, here to bring you Pokemon Best Wishes episode... Pokemon Best Wishes in Season 2, da, episode, uh, 40. Uh, which is pretty much the way... I, it's not even the way of easing us back into filler, but it's it's pretty much filler. Well, at least... And let me... Uh, and someone asked this in, in the comments of the last one. When I say filler... I'm referring to episodes that don't have any consequence to them, meaning nothing change. There is no overarching plot line. The Pokemon doesn't evolve or is caught. Nothing really changes. That's what I call filler, or there's not like a badge getting got or, or pretty much if there's no sense of progression other than you know the group continues on their journey, Kazuzu or uh, to be continued. <laughs> I've been watching too many. When you watch the Japanese so goddamn long, you, that, you just start saying that. Uh, the episode itself is. I'm about to get interrupted. Because someone's going up the stairs and they're going to knock on the door and be like, Are you still up? What are you doing up? See, there it is. See, I, I, I'm, I'm magic. I know how these things work. Because people know I'm still up and they're harassing me while I'm trying to record a video. So I'm gonna power on through it. If you hear knocking on the door, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the episode in question, though, is essentially, as I said, it's like, what is this? What what is that Pokemon even called? Combi, Combi. Yeah, I think it's called Combi. It's like, oh look, we're at this part of the island. They also are doing this whole thing with uh, the butler character, which I forget the name of off the top of my head, because I watched the episode like two days ago, um, where he has like a whole bunch of family members that just happen to look just like him. Pretty much it's the Nurse Joy, Don George, Jenny Syndrome. A whole bunch of characters that look, that look the same, but are apparently different people because they were too damn lazy just to give them, just to just have him stay there the entire time. I'm like, yeah. it's like at a certain point, we're not even going to question it. Just It's just retarded. And it wouldn't have hurt to have different characters. Like, even for the Nurse Joys and Jennies. It's just like, you could have had different nurses in different in different offices and instead of them all being either Nurse Joy or, or Officer Jenny. And it's, T-Rocket tries to capture Pikachu. The way they do it is kind of retarded, though, because, like, they... they, they they go through the effort of tricking them, getting them to drive into a car, driving them out to a field, only to do the stereotypical pitfall trap again, and you're just like, really? That's what we're going to do? Like, and then on top of that, the fact that they catch Pikachu, and they're so casual, as if they don't expect this to go horribly wrong. Like, it's it's retarded. Like, they're... Their, their attitude in the beginning made no sense. It was like, wow, do you expect this to work? Like, you, you guys are actually airing a sense of confidence. Like, you believe, honest to God, this is all you had to do. Because, like, as if your previous failings in the earlier seasons, and even during this season, uh, the other regions, and even this season, like, like those things went off without a hitch. Like, come on. And then the, the rest of the episode proceeds to be, oh, no, we we... We accidentally woke up some Kakuna, which turned into some Beedrill, chasing them with Beedrill, which is kind of nostalgic because I remember that being a thing in the earlier episodes of, like, the first region. Um, and then it's, oh, Pokemon interaction with Meowth and trying to change Meowth's heart and shit, which, I, the only thing I'll say about this section that I did like is the fact that Pikachu was at least skeptical. The one thing he has that he wasn't in other regions is that he was skeptical of this region. He was skeptical the entire episode. And I was like, thank you, God. Show some progression, at least. The fact that they're doing this again with Meowth is kind of stupid, though, because they've already done this type of plot line with him. They, that was an arc. That was an arc in the main, like, gym leader badges saga. So I'm like, why the hell are you bringing this concept back? It's probably because you, you're running out of ideas for filler. Which is sad because the next episode was actually pretty enjoyable, but I'll get to that when I get to it. But uh, the episode is just kind of like, yeah, like no one gives a fuck. Like it, that's really what it is. Like the, I'm pretty sure we're, I'm gonna have a lot of those episodes where I'm gonna watch it and be like, yeah, no one's gonna give a fuck. 
It's not like, oh my god, you got to watch this episode. Like, people skip this episode, people, it would not mean a goddamn thing. Because it's not, it's not anything inherently interesting or entertaining. It's just the same shit. If you, you've seen this happen before in earlier regions, this has happened probably once every region. It's just, it's not really a thing. It's just, it's kind of just a part of the Pokemon tradition. And this is why people don't expect shit from the Pokemon anime anymore. Because it's just kind of like, you're just going to follow the same dumbass loop. But whatever. That's, that's my thoughts on the episode. Just no one giving a fuck. Because it's it's the same shit. It's, it's just a part of the Pokemon anime tradition. So, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, gotta catch them all. And I will catch you guys later. Peace